Okay, this is another Bible. This is another program called um, The Word at, um, where is it? Right here at theword.net. Uh, you can get the um, core engine of it for free, and then most of the modules you can also get for free, including some really important Greek and Hebrew modules. Um, and this is the guy who writes it. He also uh, has a forum where you can ask your questions and stuff like that. The guy's really dedicated. And when you first install the program, you'll see a little splash screen that looks like this blue thing here, the word. And it says that he doesn't believe in um, taking money. Now, nobody can work on something for you unless you pay them. But he's not making an issue of how much you pay him. It's between God and you. That speaks really, really well of this guy. That's something my pastor stressed day and night. You know, he's always quoting uh, Isaiah 55. Money, you know, the word should be available without money and without price. Because Isaiah 55 is about the fact that the word is for free and from God. And that it'll change your life. That's the whole theme of that chapter. So this guy really takes that to heart, and so that's why I'm making this video, kind of sponsoring his video, I mean his, his software. So, you know, go and look at this if you're, you know, nervous about paying the Bible Works price. This is the closest thing I've found to Bible Works, and I'm going to sort of go through what I know about it in this video. I don't know much, I'm just testing it now. I only installed it over the weekend. Now. <clears throat> Some of the features that you're seeing here on screen are things you have to configure. Okay, this is like Bible Works, this is a very sophisticated program. There's a lot to read and understand and test to get the program to do it the way you want to do it. But it has a lot of the same features as Bible Works, a little bit modified, not quite as, you know, sophisticated in certain respects, but it does do certain things. So if you want the configuration the way I have it, let me know if you want this. And then what I'll do is I'll make more videos showing how I configured it to get it to look the way you see it on screen. I basically configured it to look as much like my own Bible works as possible. All right. Now, a couple of the things that are really kind of important. Um, this particular view is the equivalent to the multi-browser window in Bible works. If I just wanted to see one text in straight reading format, for example, this is the King James Version 1611, okay, and I was able to configure the font, I was able to configure the spacing, I was able to configure whether these little links, see how they, they show to other verses that link up, that's all configurable, all right, that, that means that you have to learn how to configure it this way. Okay, these are not the defaults in the program. Up here at the top, you're seeing, you know, Psalm 90. And then you can jump to the individual um, other Psalms. See, like this is Psalm 90, so it's highlighted. All right, again, all this is configurable. You're seeing the results of my configuration, not the default results in the program. Because the default results in the program are much simpler okay but uh, my needs are not simple now remember when I said you had favorites here they call that compare <clears throat> and Bible sets and so for example you're looking now at one book but if I wanted to compare this is my exegetical set now some of these Bible um, Hebrew and Greek I had to pay for and some I didn't alright this thing here this is um, the Westminster Hebrew, which is this, basically the same as Leningrad. This is their morphology. I didn't elect to show the morphology codes for the same reason I don't like them in Bible works. But if I put a cursor, I don't know if this is going to show when I'm recording. Let's see. Uh, the cursor is not showing. Okay. In your set, when you're not recording, there's a pop-up. If I highlighted this word, there would be a pop-up explaining what's the word, whether it's a noun, a verb, blah, blah, what 
what case ending it is and all the rest of it. You get a little pop-up. It's not the same as Bible Works where you would get all that in the bottom window. All right. This is a pop-up. But it, it, that's kind of neat. All right. The same thing with the Greek is that you you get a pop-up, but it won't show because I'm recording. There's a conflict between the mouse hooks between the program and my screen recorder. I don't know how to defeat them yet. I'm going to have to try. So that you could you could find